All right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Arena video. Today we're looking at the poster boy for this channel, Simic Mimic. <laughs> um, it's all good. Uh, I love a good uh, like mimic effect, like a phantasmal image, stuff like that. Hence the namesake for the channel, you know, Mimic TCG. Um, and in current standard, there's plenty of ways to mimic creature cards. So that's what we're, that's what we're giving, giving this a game. We've done a few playtests, so um, and we worked the deck a little bit. We basically came up, we did five five matches. Four of those were against mono red. So we didn't really get a good variety. Uh, of games, but what I did learn is we need something in the one drop slot, uh, even if it's just a chump block or uh, soak up some some burn. Uh, initially, what we have what we have now is Terramanda. Uh, also, we can adapt it later in the game, not as easily as say like Mono Blue or like Spells or something, but we we can adapt it, which is which is good. But uh, initially, this was two copies of Dive Down and we also had two Negates uh, and the reason we had those is because it's quite important that we, in Negates that you know stop board wipes and Dive Downs to stop direct removal um, however I took this out and put in for Terramander we'll see how that works um, oh, what else did I have? I did initially only have two Hydrocrasis now I've got four and I can't remember what it took out um, oh, I took out a Vivian Reed and put her in the sideboard. And oh, and I took out one Spark Double. Uh, the reason for this is, although I wanted as many Mimicking effects as possible, I maybe had too many. Uh, so we've now got nine. So we've got a uh, two Mirror Image, two Quasi Duplicate. I mean, essentially, Quasi Duplicate is four copies off because it's got jump start. Um yeah, so I split two and two because one mirror image is a bit easy to cast if say we we don't hit two blue mana. Which is unlikely but it's just in case. Um and then two quasi duplicate. Uh we've got three spark doubles and then two repudiate replicate. Also repudiate can counter uh Planeswalker abilities, that's important. And we've got, um, anyway, so that's our mimicking effects. We're going to go through the rest of it. I kind of jumped over the two drops. Two drops we have a lot of. Uh, we've got four Growth Chamber Guardian, self explanatory, or that's there. You can do a lot of work. Um, you know, uh, when it gets counter, you can fetch for another one. Uh, incubation Druid, a little bit of ramp, and you can adapt. A bit more ramp, Growth Spile, again. Bit card draw and some ramp, and uh, we've got four hydrocrasis. It's good just to play just with some card draw and a little bit of life gain. And just if you can't play a big one, just play one for a blocker. Um, we've got two frilled mystics. Uh, I like frilled mystic because I feel like people don't expect it, they'll play. They'll play into it, so we can counter something. Um, there's only two because it's a four mana, which is quite hefty. Um, however, you know we'll play and we'll see if we do need those two negates back somewhere, uh, which, which is good. But our, our main win condition is, um, and it has worked, uh, is biogenic ooze. Make a bio play biogenic ooze. Copy by biogenic as many times as possible, basically. Um, it gets quite out of hand. Um, and then we do have one God of Tunnel Renis as well, because he's big and scary and can finish the game himself. And also makes our dudes insane. Doubles the power for one turn, which is bonkers. So really, we do want him to get killed, to go back into our library, to draw him again, to do the same thing. I'm quite happy with this at the moment, um, but we'll see. Uh, our sideboard is four dive down. 
comes in. That would come in against uh, like burn aggro decks. Um, decks like with a lot of removal and stuff. Uh, we've got four, four Merfolk Trickster. Again, I'd probably bring this in against uh, the aggro kind of decks. Slow them down a bit. Two negates. Two core harpooners. That deals with uh, drakes and thing. Drakes and phoenixes. Is Vivian Reed again deals, deals with drakes and phoenixes. Two carnage tyrant coming against control. Um. Oh, sleepy, sleepy. What didn't I? Um. What didn't I? To put in the immortal sun, did I? I might go in the sideboard actually. And also, there's stuff to exile someone's graveyard. Exile's a card, that wasn't it. Maybe it's in uncollected. There's something where you can. Yeah, so is it Sentinel Tatum? Is that it? Silent Grave Uh I was thinking about putting something in to empty graveyards against um, like Drake decks and things. Hmm. We shall see. Probably a central type. Cheap and easy. Grave saying yeah, we get to draw a card with it, but uh, think about. I'll think about that. That's a possibility. We do need to get rid of something if we're putting in Immortal Sun. There we go. That's that done. Easy enough. Right, let's go play. Let's play a constructed event. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it's not a bunch of mono red again, because that would That'd be disappointing, because it's this is all it was in playtesting. It's just mono red eyes. Just <laughs> there's not really there's no decks that I particularly go. Oh, I hate I, I, I hate decks when I'm playing against them and they're crushing me. But there's no like archetype where I go. Do you know what? That sucks. I hate it. It shouldn't be a thing. But I'm kind of getting bored of this. Is this is very very keepable. Um, I'm kind of getting bored of mono red at the moment. Okay, this can, it can be anything. Uh, it can be, yeah, okay, it's Grixis. <laughs> Have fun. It's good. I would take the Gross Bar. If anything. You want to take the growth spiral, so, or oh ma'am. Interesting. That's not overly important. That ramp isn't overly important. But growth spiral is hard for, and ramp, and that is what you want to get rid of. Uh, I feel like I should play growth to guardian. Nope. Do not. These Grixis mid rangey kind of decks are everywhere and they suck. Like, big time. I, like, I absolutely hate them. Okay, so we can only play one. 
Guardian. I just hate them. I just, I'm just bored of everyone going. Basically, like jumping on a bandwagon. Uh, it's almost like people are afraid to have fun. Uh, so I'm just going to discard this great Chicken Guardian. So I'm going to play that. And I'm going to... Well, we've got two in there. I'm thinking about the Terramander. Let Terramander. I'll go to combat. He probably knows that I can adapt, right? Unfortunately, being starved of green mana meant, meant I couldn't play by Janikus. Which is the shame. So he wants to fit that bolus, right? You go bolus. Hang on. Fair play. Ten damage to target creature or planeswalker. If you actually kidding me. It's so mental. Okay. We can race. We can race if you want, like this. Really need to do mana. My ooze. Oh, you can't flip him anyway, but I'd have probably kept him up to block, if I'm honest. Um, two? I need to discard something. Ugh. Don't want to discard the ooze, if I'm honest. Going wide is how we win. I am now glad I did not discard the ooze. I'm going to go to combat. It's forcing me to get out of here. I think we're all out, aren't we? Yeah, we're all out. So, decline. That's okay, because that can just enter tap, but save us a bit of life. Something nasty coming? Ugh. What the? Ugh. Ugh. That's great. Okay, and this is where we're gonna flood out, I guess. Um Yeah, fair play. There's not much you can do against these uh Grixis decks, unfortunately. I think I just have to make the. I think I just have to make this. Okay, it doesn't copy the. Unfortunately, it doesn't copy the counters, though. I'll just scoop here, I think. This is your average zombie <laughs> Rise and shine. I mean, fair play. Fair play. Currently does just feel like 
arena is full of Grixis, like mid rangey controly decks. And you know, mono red, from my experience. Play testing, that's fine. Keep going until I. Uh, okay, that's a lot of man. I'm going first. I'm okay with this. I'm only keeping because I've got Grace Spinal. Let's be draw a card. And play some ramp, which is good for Hydrocrisis. The one deck of the beat was Mono White. Yeah, playtesting. I say, well, I, playtesting was harsh on. On us, the Mono Reds, they, they beat us. Um, so I want the second for it. Is this that? Um, I can't remember what the deck's called. There's a deck floating around. I'm make Terramander. And then I kind of want to make a copy of Terramander. Because then, essentially having the ability to have two five fives in the air is pretty pretty good. We can proliferate. Next turn, if I do that, on one of them, yeah, let's do that. And I can always jump start for my ooze later anyway. Oh, I can't. Hang on. Wrong mana. Wrong mana. Ignore me. Playing like an idiot. That was silly. So I was thinking, oh, if I cause a duplicated, next turn play land, that would be five lands, and then two uh, instants and sorceries in the graveyard, which meant we could proliferate essentially for five mana. Which would have been decent. But no dramas, it's all good. You took a long time to think about that. He's gonna regret that, I think, with with the other things that we have to play. Um So I can make a three three hydrocrasis draw card gain in life. Or I could actually just play Biogenic Ooze. Throw Ooze out. Into the field drain. If he dies, that's fine, because then we can make a... Uh, it's not fine. <laughs> um, but we can make a 4-4 Hydrocrasis gain two life, draw two cards. I'm wondering if this is that feathered deck I've seen floating around. What does he do? Three damage to each opponent. Tap that creature. Excuse me. So I think if he has removal, he's probably removing... Oh, okay. That's perfect. That is so ridiculously perfect. It hurts. Um, so I think what I want to do is go to combat. I'll attack with my use token. Then I'm going to cause a duplicate my biogenic ooze. I'm going to end up with many big creatures. Uh, it's still, oh, I have still got three. I can play cause duplicate again. 
discarding that island. I can't really imagine he's got a board wipe, but I think he's probably quite cool for centre. <laughs> oh, that was loud. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we beat Boris. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we got a bit mana screwed. Um, I'm not complaining. I feel like that would have happened anyway. Uh, Ah, uh, look, we got our booster. Okay, we're one for one so far. It's okay, I know that uh, it's not always ideal to be watching a deck. That, like, oh, that sounds interesting, I'll watch that and watch it in it, like, beaten to death <laughs> by Grixis. But I'm pretty sure Grixis has overtaken Esper Control as the number one deck. Um, okay, three lands, that's, that's always good. We've got a turn round of turn one into a growth spiral. This is very keepable. I don't really want to burn myself in the. Oh, not mono red. Not mono red. Seems that it's, prob it's probably mono red. I am going like this. Island in the forest. to grow spiral to play the breeding pool. Some kind of burn on my Terramander? No, no burn on the Terramander. Sure. I should really keep him up to block, but he'll probably die. Uh, I'm going to end the turn. You might think I've got Dive Down in hand or something. But, ooh, double, double Pyromancer. Sure. Shock on the Terramander? Okay, I mean, I will happily trade these. Ah, okay. Yeah, by Jaguars is a good draw. As is a cosy duplicate. I feel like what I'm gonna do here is the only thing I can really do is nothing and just hold up a filled mystic. Filled mystic for a counter. I'm gonna take the two. I'm gonna take the two to the face. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm more concerned about things like um, what am I thinking? It's okay. We're just going to count for that. That's not happening. That's amazing. We've got a news. I also have another ooze and I'm gonna attack. I mean he probably has all the removal in the world in his hand. You can't see him not. Okay. Wizard lightning my ooze. Fiend! I 
Okay. Cool. He's gonna attack it with Pyman, so I think I block with my ooze. So then kill it with the dude, which I'm not going to. I want that ooze alive. Six. Hmm. Only have one more we could play ooze into quasi duplicate, but we don't. So what I'm going to do first of all is I will attack with this filled mystic. And then another ooze. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. If we draw a land, we can go cause a duplicate spark double on Uzi's. Okay, sure. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm quite happy with what we've got. We've got bigger creatures than he does. Drawing into Ronus would be crazy good right now. He... Does he really want to attack? With that. Did he not think this through? I'm so confused. Why did he do that? Okay, we've got, we've got all of the copying effects in the world right now. Um, I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to... Attack. Attack. And do I want to attack with all of them? Yeah, I'll attack with all of them. It's fine. And I think I'm just then just gonna make two Two oozes, I guess. I think I'll draw into another ooze because I can cause, cause duplicate twice. So I'm okay with this trade. Um, and I think I think I'll just cause a duplicate once. It doesn't copy the counters, but it's a blocker. Um, and then I'm gonna end my turn. Why don't I use would be the best draw? Okay, sure. He's big and mean. That's not a good draw, really. Um, I'm kind of okay just copying ooze tokens because I can double block the chain wilder with these guys or with anyone. Sure. Maybe I should have made another one with Spark Double actually. I uh, have 13 power on board. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Um. 
Um, so all I can do is I can only attack with a 4-4. Four four. Because if I attack with anything else, it will die to chain chain Wilder and this dude. I'll attack with that one. See what happens. I'll probably jump with the Pyromancer, I imagine. Yep, yeah, fair enough. He may have shock in hand to deal with that as well, though. Which is fine. I'm okay with the two for one, because we can keep it going wider and wider and wider. Yeah, of course I Um, oh man, what do I want to do? I feel like I feel like I'm in a better position actually. As long as I draw a creature, I'm gonna take the. If I decline, I'm gonna take the action. I'm gonna take the damage. I'm not having that. Not right now. Means I'm okay, that sucks. Um, okay, in which case, I am just gonna make loads of copies. If I attack with all, he blocks to three, I get him four, and then I do the same next turn and he's dead. Which is what I should have done earlier. He's blocking the two two because he didn't realise Chainwiller has first strike. That what's happened here? I mean, it only makes one life difference. It doesn't doesn't matter too much, but still, confused. So I'm going to obviously decline and let him draw three cards. Because even if... Well, why is he running the Raise Ball in this deck? It's five mana. Is it a good choice? Okay, going to ping that. That was silly. I mean, good game. going to preemptively say good game because he's got no... He's got one blocker, two life. Tap down. I think it's raised ball a good card in this deck. It probably is. I mean, it's five. It's five drop though. It's my only query about it. So it's five mana. And when I read, you're not. I don't know. You got to four. Maybe five mana is a bit of a push. Not disputing the fact that it's a good card because it is. I mean, maybe you like play big red and you want to play play some bigger threats. Uh, I don't know. I like the card. So an awesome deck. We play that, and then uh, you put uh, when, when he attacks, you use his ability to put down the Tulpa, which is just ridiculous. 
And I mean, five mana for a six six is above curve anyway, with with all the stuff that he does, right? Okay, opponent's thinking. Our opponent is, I think, maybe just being salty and just sitting there going, "Yeah, you can have the win, but not until all the times that timeouts are used up." Oh, dude, come on! <laughs> I don't, I don't normally go your go and stuff, but I'm getting a bit annoyed now. Come on. Maybe he's lagged out, I don't know. He might have lagged out, but I'm thinking maybe this is a bit, you know, he's being salty because he's lost, and therefore instead of just conceding or passing the turn so I can kill him. There we go, fine, thank you, at last. Jeez. Ooh, 850 coins. I mean, those are real coins. Okay, so, so far we've got two wins and one loss. <laughs> uh, I feel like the, the, these Grixis decks, the, that one we played earlier, it's just. I don't even know how to deal with it. It's just so quick. It just has answers for everything. Um. <laughs> I was reading some uh, that's a bad hand that's better um, the reason that bad hand was bad is because we didn't have blue mana and we had lots of blue spells um, so I was reading reading lots of that, reading some articles and some like uh, comments and on videos and things and the third land is fine. Um, that um, over at Wizards they love Grixis, hence why Grixis is just another Grixis. Flip the block. <laughs> I wanted to swear quite a lot then. Um, John, I'm not going to make that mistake. I want to play Ghost Spiral, but. Instead, I'm going to throw out the first of the Guardian. So, apparently, they love Grixis over there, and hence why Grixis is just the best. Because. Which isn't necessarily true, because Esper, Esper's dominated, and. Mono White's dominated, and Mono Red's pretty good, and you can poop off with your poop. Uh, but I'm going to discard the land, that's fine. This is a different kind of. Uh, Grixis build for sure. So, do I want to adapt him? I'm just going to get him for two. A cheeky two. I'm going to keep the mana open because I may want to play Ghost Fire on. Depending what he does. But maybe I should have done that whilst he was tapped out. Um, that's a vow and then draw. I will do this now. I want to do it in his end step, really. In case he's got. I don't know. I don't know if Grixis runs like shock or anything. I don't know. Or lightning bolt or. Uh, that goes back to his hand and all that stuff happens again and my face hurts from all of the discard and it's fine. Um, I don't mind because I'm, I'm building a uh, a discard deck. Not a discard deck, um, but a control deck at the moment. It's got a fair amount of discard, not huge amounts, but... Um, but again, it's something different. It's not like the, the typical um, uh, 
Let's get Ooze down. Uh, it's not the typical control decks. Uh, it's, um, we're playing, it's a spirit control deck. I'll, I'll let you know what it is. It's spirit control. Uh, Ice Brooding Spirit. Aggro ish. Spirit mid rangers. Fourth white? No, okay. And we're called Bola. Let's try to target people at Planeswalker. Can we minus three destroy that? Yeah, of course, eh? But he dies this turn, right? So. To combat. Two attackers. You kill him. You kill him! Simple as that. Uh, I'll play Breeding Pool tapped. And I'm going to keep mana open for Filled Mystic. Because I can. So also, uh, Repudiate Replicate can counter Search for Escanto, right? Can it? I can't remember the wording on Repudiate Replicate right now, but I'm pretty sure it can counter that. Mmm, the coffee's gone a bit cold. What you doing there, bud? You're counting. Counting is... Uh, gonna counter that. There's probably better things to counter? I don't want to discard any card. Actually, I should have let that happen. Should have discarded Incubation Druid. My bad. Actually, maybe not. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, that's nice. You get him for six. Uh, do I play Ooze? Am I playing Ooze straight into a counter? Am I playing Ooze straight into... Do you know what? I don't need to pl I don't need... ...to play Ooze right now. I've got Lethal on board. I've got Incubation Druid. Okay, sure. What have you got? Battle, I've got two creatures. Going to sacrifice. Okay, it doesn't matter. He scoops. <laughs> we, we just be quick, sis. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I could cry. I'm not going to cry, but we be quick, sis. I'm pleased with this. Um. Anyway, I was was I explaining right? So the reason I didn't play ooze when I could have done was because um. We had lethal on board already. And uh, I didn't see any point in playing Ooze and my other Ooze into potentially what was going to be a a board wipe next turn. Uh, in theory, I probably shouldn't have even played Incubation Druid in case he had like a discard effect. Uh, no, so I obviously would have had to discard the Ooze, which would have been a shame. So I think, yeah, think about that. The right play would have been don't play anything. Having Lethal on board and was good. Um, oh no, wait, no. No, no, I did play right because he played Liliana, really sacked two creatures, I would have had nothing on board. This is very, very, very keepable, in my opinion. I mean, I said very, very, very. It's it's keepable. The third land makes it even more keepable. So. Mono red, perhaps? I hate Dreadhorde Harkonist. He's a butt. Um, I'm going to play Incubation Druid. Overgrowth Spiral. Boros, some kind of Boros y. He's going to have lots of combat tricks, I bet. Oh, I've seen a Boros deck list with loads of combat tricks, so if he attacks, I'm going to let that attack go through. I don't want to lose that because I'll have enough for two growth spirals, no blocks. Uh, 
Oh, this is that feather deck I've seen. Yeah, I've seen you. I know what you're about. So we've now got enough mana for two Grave Spirals. Which is what I think I want to do. At least a Grave Spiral. Draw a card. Play that. And just tapped. Okay, so whenever an install source card exile that card spin. Ugh, that's gross. That's so gross. Um In theory I could play Terramander, but I'm actually gonna keep my mana open to counter one of these silly abilities. With repudiate rep repudiate Ugh, I can't talk repudiate. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? What, what's he playing here? I want to see what that is. I'm going to counter it. Oh my days. Do we die? To feather the doodly dad? Yeah, we can't beat this. This is insane. Taking eight. Big damage. Much ten damage. Nice. Nice. So I don't really have much choice but to play Tower Mana just to chump. I might play another Terramander, um, I could copy it even, uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to play Grow Spiral. Whew. I think we lose. I mean, we definitely lose. I've got a chump there, and I've got a chump there, and then I got. Ah, oh, man. Hmm. This deck is crazy. It's so good. How would we even deal with this? What do we chump chump and then we're just delaying the inevitable? Good game. I mean, even if we. Yeah, we lose. Can't be. We lose both of those, we play the ooze. We don't die in the air. Um, wow, that deck's crazy. So crazy. Um, how would we beat that? How would we beat that? Hmm, don't know. Uh, I guess we'd have like maybe like more counter spells <laughs> out the sideboard. Uh, bounce effects. Maybe. I mean, I won't lie. This deck, I've kind of built this deck as a uh, as a best of three. Uh, I'm going fast. I'm going to keep it. I've only got two lands, but I do have a turn one turn around into a turn two guardian. So, I will burn myself in the face. I possibly didn't need to do that. Could have played Island and then wait to see if I drew into uh, a non shock land. Which I didn't, so it doesn't matter too much. I need land, please. Gonna for one. 
play Guardian. Desperate for land, or if not land, at least. Um, Oh, okay. Nice. Land's good. Land is our friend. Which means I can adapt that now. So I go to combat. I shall attack. I'll adapt this. I'll take the action. Take any action I can get. <laughs> that was a bad check. I'm sorry. I'm not even sorry. I like a good bad check. Um, okay, so three mana. Could do with a fourth land. I'll take two. That's fine. Fourth land is good. It's shocky land. So my question is to. I want to play the I'm gonna burn myself so I can keep up filled mystic and I'm gonna go to combat I'm gonna attack with all he's gonna block Oh, and he's gonna kill Terramander. Yeah, okay. Fair play. Yeah. That's sensible. I didn't really think about that. See, this is where a Predate Replicate would come in handy, because I could counter that. But it's fine. Um, that's all good. I don't mind that so much. Slurping tea like some kind of animal. Or tea and coffee. So he'll attack. I'll take three. If he doesn't cast anything, I have wasted my turn. Because I didn't. Please cast something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This isn't a waste because. Power Collector is actually very good. I mean, there's probably better things to counter, but I felt silly. Um, so what I could actually do here is I could quasi-duplicate Grave Chamber Guardian to make even more Grave Chamber Guardians. Or I could play a 3 3 Hydro Crisis, gain one life, draw one card. Whilst I'm thinking, we shall go to combat and we shall punch in for 7. And he's just scooped. He's realised he can't win because he's got mana screwed. So far, I'm quite happy with how the deck plays. Um. We've got our gold back, so that's always nice, right? Um, and maybe this deck isn't super competitive. Maybe it's running too many mimic effects, probably. In all fairness, that's quite accurate. Okay, so we've got three three lands, Terramander, cause you, yeah, I can keep this. I'm kind of okay keeping this. Wait, he's going first. I didn't bother reading that. Am I going first? Yes. There we go. Come on, Terramander. Disguising ourselves as mono blue or spells or disguising ourselves. Okay, that's gonna obviously gonna be Grixis because poo on you. I love, I love how it gives you the option to play Hydrocrasis uh, as a 0-0. Zero, zero. Makes me chuckle. 
Oh, no, not quick access, Esper. Okay. I jumped the gun. I saw the... Uh... So it caused... Oh, okay. Uh, cause of duplicating Terminal isn't a bad idea if you had... If I had loads of uh, instants and sorceries in the graveyard. But instead, I'm going to just play another Terramander. And I'm going to end the turn. Play land. Uh, I th next turn. I feel like what I'm going to do is probably play Hydrocrisis for two. Uh, as a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of what I have to do, isn't it? What's he got? He's thinking about something. He's thinking. He's thinking hard. Nope. It seems a bit of a waste of hydrocrisis. Um, but you can counter it if you want. It even stood at that ability, which is what I wanted it for, which is good. Got the guardian. There are worse things that have happened. Um, do I do the same again to try to get a land? I have to play Grove to my Guardian and hope he doesn't die. Ugh. Oh, I hope he doesn't get countered. Um, extra land would be good because I can make a news next turn, but. Yeah, okay, it's got to be this. We kind of suffer if we don't. Hit lands. Okay. I'm also okay with that because I'd rather than burn through the cat spells on these and just my fingers if they do. And just tap. Hmm. Alright, another crisis. So we can almost. Almost uh, adapt those now. Let's see what happens here. Um, do you know what? He's possibly got some kind of hideous removal of some kind. Another counter spell. No, okay. Not sure. I'm gonna pass the turn. Ah, okay, the reason I'm doing this is just to like keep drawing cards because he's probably got laser remove and counters spells and stuff. Okay. Do this time. I'll take this action. Thanks. Okay. I'm going to Angel's deck. Right. This is where I'm going to play Ooze. No attacks. I'm just going to sort of go wide. What I'll do... He's not going to have a board wipe. He's not going to wipe his own Lyra Dawnbringer, right? Surely. He might do. I would. That's because I don't value life. <laughs> uh, so we've actually got enough to play both Quasi Duplicate and Repudiate Replicate. I'm going to throw out Quasi Duplicate first. Let's see what happens. Probably has a counter spell, which is fine. That's fine. I can do that. I'll do it again and I'll, I will discard. 
growth spiral? I feel like I don't need that now. I feel like I don't need growth spiral anymore. Copy that. Get rid of that. And you won't have counter spell because you've got no blue mana. So, you can do that. Awesome. I'm happy with this. End of turn. Make many big dudes. No attacks, because I'm not silly. And we can actually adapt one of our Termanders next turn as well. Awesome! We can play Hydro Crisis for four, which is fine. Ooh, okay. Some my dudes. Mean man. But you can't attack. You know you can't attack. You're stuck. You are stuck, sir. Um. Oh. So my options are adapt a Terramander. Or make another copy of Biogenic Ooze. Which is what I'm going to do. Because it's funny. Does that have first strike? It does, so we don't attack. Because it's got first strike. So we've got four mana open. Um, I don't need to play the Growth Chamber Guardian. I feel like maybe I should. Is he likely to play a board wipe? I don't think so, but we'll pass turn. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Ah, oh, we can't quite adapt a Terramander last turn. Maybe I should have attacked, right? I already got him before. But okay, it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> we attack next turn. Ah, oh, could you imagine if he's got Path to Exile? That would suck, but. Can't quite do that, can I? Seven, eight. Not quite, no. Oh, I may have actually miscounted. Oh, another ooze. That is crazy. But he's about to have a counter spell, right? I'm going to play Hundred Crisis for five. Am I? I'm going to go to combat. And. I am just going to attack with... Oh, waiting. He's got some kind of something. I'm just going to attack my two big oozes. Maybe silly. Maybe we should just attack with the one. Next to He's gonna take this damage. Like a champ. Ah, oh, you're getting rid of my token. Unfortunate. Boop. That is a shame. Um he has blue mana open, so I'm gonna just I'm just gonna play a big crisis. Was it three four five? Getting a bit alive, draw a couple of cards. Okay, that's cool. Spark double and because you can spark double is great. It means I can make more. Um, do I just chump block this? He's attacking, which means he's possibly got a board one in hand, right? 
Because if you didn't have a board wipe or something else, surely he would scoop. Not scoop. But yeah, okay, I was going to say, trying to have something. Nice. Nice. Um. So what I can do is I can try and tempt out the counter spell with this. I can also play this. Maybe what I should have done when I had all those creatures it was just uh each sacrifice a creature or face Okay, sure. Uh, sacrifice the incubation period. Should have kept that in my hand to discard to that actually. Oops. Oh no, I can discard cause a duplicate, it's fine. What's he got? He's gonna have an answer, right? I see him hovering over his things. That's fine. But now I know that I can, in fact, cast Biogenic Ooze without any worries. And I can also make a quasi... I can quasi duplicate it. Worst case scenario, he's got another Kai's Wrath. I think that would be a butt. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna risk it for... A rather tasty biscuit. Actually, John, will you first? I will quasi duplicate my dude. Um, and just resolve. I really hope. Oh, he hasn't got any answers there. He didn't have any answers there, so he can take. 12 to the face. What have we got here? Creature planes all go. Okay. Um, and I'm actually going to make an ooze, I think. Can I make an ooze? Four, yeah. But, oh wait, no, I want to make it now so it gets big. I don't know if he's got a board wipe. He's dead. Right? Yeah, I thought he would take the ooze. Would be, uh... Oh, just reborn. Oh, my alarm's going off. You can go on snooze. Okay, what's he looking for? He's looking for... Bounce effects, destroyed creature effects. What is it? He's looking for path to exile, right? Which he doesn't have. We got one of those left. So okay, he's scooping anyway. I was gonna mirror image that and then make another one and then attack and then. So this is how mimic deck works. I do feel like maybe I need a bit more resilience. Um, I kind of missing the gate a little bit. The Terramander is pretty good.
I say Termand is pretty. Termand, Termand is very good. Actually, um, I just don't think we have the instant and sorcery spells, like the number of them. Uh, but that that guy when we were playing, he 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 attacked with his Lyra, which told me that he had a Kai's Wrath or a board wipe of some kind in hand. Right, I'm going first. We can go turn one to uh, Terramander. I think he says Salamander. Turn one Terramander, turn two Ter uh, Incubation Druid. Or another Terramander. So I'm happy with this. Okay. We'll play Island first as well. Let's. Let's disguise ourselves as Mono Blue. Slash. Using spells. Slash something, something, something. Something blue. Yeah, we've got breeding pool and breeding pool. Um, I am going to burn myself because I'm playing Great Druid. We'll attack. Fire Dinagu is my favourite card. Um, I have no way to deal with that. Absolutely no way. Uh, and one enter a tap, it's fine. I didn't have a land. Okay, that's sucky. Yeah, they were turn around down. I feel like. I feel like I just. Well, actually, wait, if I can get a. Um, big enough ooze down. Big enough oozes, we do out. Okay, now we just lose. <laughs> like, turn 2 Walker and turn 3 Deadlight Ranger into a turn 4 Deadlight Ranger, that's just a lot of got hurt. No blocks, man. You can deal with the damage doing. I'm okay with this. Needed land. Or card draw. Ugh. Sucky, sucky. Um, I feel like I'm just going to quasi duplicate my. Terramander? That's all I can do, is to try and, um... Actually, no, we need, we need ramp. Let's... What's a duplicate incubation druid? Just for fun. Because we need the mana. It would take four, five, six, seven... Eight. Probably gonna, possibly gonna take nine. Good then. If I'm not eating hits. Okay, we're getting nine. Ugh. I'm gonna take nine. That's not what I needed. What have we got? Two spells. That's two of the seven. That's two of the eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can adapt one of these. This is what I'm going to do. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, whoops. I'm dead. Good game, bro. Okay, well, we're beaten by Golgari Explore. That's, there are, I mean, there are. Okay, so three losses and five wins. That's, that's not too bad. Um, I feel like that's that's a you know, it's not a tier one deck, but we we almost got there. We almost got there. I'm happy with that. That's fine. You know, six hundred go. Ooh, ooh, twenty gems. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, man. Didn't know we could get Finally, those. Oh, hey, okay. my skills. I hate your voice. That's really annoying. <laughs> I really hate your voice. 
Um, curious obsession. Oh, I didn't have one of those. Um, right, cool. That's that done. That's that Simic Mimic. We'll probably work on that a bit more. And maybe, um, maybe like play around with some more builds and stuff. My alarm's going to go off again because I put it on snooze. I'll just turn that off. Um, because I kind of want to make mimic like a simic mimic <laughs> maybe it maybe has to become bant mimic i don't know uh like a, a good a good deck you know good competitive deck it was reasonably competitive but we we had a couple of like again homebrews i think there um anyway sorry so uh, the way i finish all of the videos is by opening a booster um which isn't overly exciting on arena but it's fine Oh, so my other option for my one drop over Terramander was Wall of Runes because it just stops an awful lot of uh, mono red aggro. And I was thinking that because when we did playtesting, we, like I said, came up against four mono red decks and they just burn our face to the ground. However, I'm preferring Terramander at the moment. Um, but the scry ability is pretty good. I mean, the one drop. 04 defender is pretty good. There is that card that lets you attack the defenders and it deals damage with their toughness. So that that's crazy in that deck. Um, and our rare is just a, a rare wild card. That's fine. Zhang Yanggu, Wildcrafter. So each creature control with bottom bottom counter has it um, add one mana of any color and put counters on stuff. That gives me like a proliferate deck. I actually have one of those in booster. I opened. Uh, paper magic, and that's going straight in my Atraxa um, EDH deck, which is pretty good. Uh, which again, I'm building Atraxa EDH slowly. It's not like tier one EDH. I just like to play EDH for fun. Our play group just, you know, has a good laugh with it. Um, so I'm running low on rare, mythic, rare wild cards. Might be a time to buy a load of boosters. Um, that's that done. Thanks for tuning into this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any suggestions for how to like improve the deck, let me know. Um, like again, you know, my usual style is kind of like a moderately aggro mid-range. So this kind of like go wide strategy is a bit a bit new to me. This mimic thing, but I love it because we're mimic TCG, and that's the poster boy <laughs> for our channel. Uh, tune in next time. We're doing some more stuff. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.